I wanted to show you how to do a selection sort in Java. Uh, kind of like the bubble sort, it's a pretty simple algorithm. However, it's not very efficient. Uh, so if you're sorting large arrays, uh, it can take a while. Uh, but it's, it's pretty easy to follow. So the idea in the selection sort is you go through the array uh, looking for the smallest item. So you iterate through the array multiple times. Um, one by one, picking out the lowest item and swapping it to its proper place. And I'll show you how that works. So, first thing we need to do, borrow in some code from before, from my bubble sort. Uh, have an integer array defined with some random numbers and a function to print it out so we can see. Um, if we run this. You can see the output is not ordered. It's the order that they were put in. All right, so to do the selection sort, uh, we need a, a for loop. And this loop is gonna run for every element in the array minus one. So array.length minus one. I would do minus one on a lot of these because uh, we're going to be comparing items, and we'll compare with the next one, wherever we're at. If we go minus one, then we don't have to worry about overrunning the array. The increment. So there's our our main outer for loop that's going to run through each, ele each element. Now we need an inner for loop. Well, let's first save off our... Uh, where we're currently working. So uh, our current our current element that we're going to be interested in is the i variable here. Let's just save that so we're not dealing with the uh, the i later on. So this index is going to represent the uh, current element that we're looking at. Then. We need another for loop. Just call this one J. And we're going to start at where I is plus one. And this loop we're going to run to the end of the loop, or to the end of the array. So while J is less than array.length. All right, so now in this uh, for loop, we're gonna compare this uh, index, the value at this index, uh, with all the rest of the array to see if there's any values that are greater or uh, let's lessen um, that value. If, if there is, that means we did not find the smallest value and we need to swap it. So if the array at j is less than the array at our current index that we're working with. So if it is, that means we need to update our index to this j value. We found a value that's smaller than the one that we uh, started with. So this will find the index of the lowest value. So when this for loop is done, uh, so when this for loop is done here, um, idx is going to be the index of the smallest element, at least on the first pass. So we need to save that value off. Int, let's just call it the smallest is equal to the array at idx. So now what we want to do is swap that value with uh, where it was and put it in the first location. So that's done saying the array at index is now equal to the array 
add I. Oops. And then we want to set the array at I, our outer for loop. You know, that index we were working on. We want to set that to that smallest number. So after the first pass, we're going to have the smallest value in index 0. On the second pass, index our i is going to be incremented to 1, and we're going to look at that second value. And if, it, if we find another value in the remainder of the array, because we start from i plus 1, if we find a smaller value later on in the array, we're going to swap that. So as this, as this progresses through the array, uh, we find those lowest values in order and put them in the proper space. So to see this actually run, And you can see the output here is now sorted in ascending order. Now, if I wanted to see that actually work in real time, uh, let's after the the center for loop when we've swapped that lowest value that we found, let's let's print the array. Run this again so you can kind of see how it works. Oops. Let's stick this inside of our uh, outer for loop. So each pass we see. All right, so scrolling up to the top, but you can see here, so there's the original array. And after the first pass, you see that three and five have been swapped. Three was found to be the smallest and moved to the beginning. On the second pass, um, you know, initially it would have looked at 412 and it would have swapped with 74 and then later with five and then progressed through the rest, leaving five in that second spot. Third time through, you see that it found 23 and moved it up. Fourth time through, it found 54, and so on. And as it progressed through the array, it eventually ordered the whole thing.